Today I'm going to show you how to do an advanced scan of your vehicle system with the Autofix D1 Lite. So first you're going to want to just turn your car to on, but not run. And you'll take your plug-in dongle, plug it into your OBD port. It actually has a little flashlight if you need it. It'll beep, indicating that it has communication with the ECU. Then you can go over to your tablet. Hit the home button. You can go to diagnostics. And you can always go to the EOBD option, and that will allow you to read any ECU codes, but that'll be it. This already popped up with the information of my vehicle. I'm going to hit that button to select it. It's asking for the make. It's cheap. Then it'll open up the diagnostic program. It'll pop up with the VIN automatically. If it doesn't, you can hit read. It'll give all the information, ask about your year, model series, model, and your VIN number. If all that looks correct, hit yes. I'm going to go to diagnostics here. Auto scan because I don't know exactly what the issue could be. And then it will go through every single code and module that the vehicle has. That includes body module, anything with uh, traction control, ECU, wireless control module, all of that. As you can see, this is a much more comprehensive scan than what a regular scan would be able to do. So I know I have a check engine light on. That happens to be an EVAP code. This is only for the ECU that I just selected here. It gives me the option for ECU information, read codes, erase codes, all of the above. I just want to know what's wrong with it, so I can tap there. It tells me that I have a small leak. So that's a PO456 code. That's caused by a bad electronic system integrity module. So if I wanted to see other codes, I could go back. Uh, for example, ABS. Once again, read codes. That's a chassis code. That's because it had the wrong size tires on it that didn't come from the manufacturer. So when I reprogrammed it, it didn't like that. So there was a code for that. Once you're done, just go up to the top right there, tap that, exit, yes. That disconnects it from your computer, gives you a little reminder to take your dongle out, and you're good to take it out. Hope that helps.